here in Germany in the Knopf showroom. Uh, this machine behind me here, uh, this, I know this has got a mineral base to it, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, but the actual concept of it is a vertical lathe. It strikes me as a classic automotive machining uh, machine tool, would you agree? Yes, it is, especially here in Germany we have a lot of customers who are interested in such solution. Yeah. So this is a big seller for you, isn't it? It is, it is. And, and the very fact that the, the spindle on this is, is a hanging spindle, as we call it, in the UK, what's the advantages to the uh, machinist and the user having that configuration? Well, first of all, working space. Uh, it allows you to use more space during the machining and then the uh, cheap extraction flow. And, okay, and then we also have the loading system here too. So we don't have to go in as an operator and put parts in. We've actually got a stacking solution here. Is this all one cell? It is uh, sold on one cell and uh, it's included in standard and you have uh, eight uh, pieces of storage for the work pieces. You have eight pieces of storage. Now, what would be um, a maximum weight, for example, of a, of a billet that you could actually put into the stacker? You can put up to 30 kilos for a work piece. 30 kilos per work piece. That's quite, that's quite a lot. Um, tell me now about the turret as well on this machine. How many tools it get or it's got, whether you can you do milling as well? Well, you can do, you can have optionally C-axis and uh, 12 uh, position turret uh, with driven tools. So you can, you can do more than just turning here, you can mill, drill, tack, all the rest of it? Yes. Uh, build of the machine then. I started this by talking about a mineral casting. This has one of those. Why do they incorporate that into this particular range? Well, according to our studies, mineral casting has six times better damping capacity for vibrations. So it really makes the job easier for uh, uh, operators and uh, the life of the machine is much longer. Uh, so in my head then, that in conjunction with the hanging spindle means you can probably uh, work this machine harder than maybe some others, really uh, real heavy machining. Yes, that's true. And also the thermal stability, uh, that gives you a big advantage of that. I didn't think of that one, the thermal growth element. So there'd be no growth on this machine, essentially, or minimal, which means you can achieve uh, very accurate machining results. That's true, yes. Um, is this about the overnight run then? So you go in, you load up all your billets, you press the button and you go home and you come in in the morning to uh, operation one all complete on a quantity of components. Well, that's definitely the initial idea to um, make operators work uh, and do not engage them into the process so much as in the typical CNC machines. And if I looked at this model and I saw maybe there's about an eight inch chuck here, do you offer these as variants within your portfolio? I know all of your machines are available in the UK from DTS. Uh, would this be the only model within the range that people could get their hands on or do they go bigger and smaller as well? At the moment we are focusing on this 210 millimeter chuck, but we are working on the bigger machines as well. Okay, so automotive sector, uh, billets, you're not working from bar, you're working from billets, up to 30 kilograms. Uh, you've got a stacking system here, loads the machine. Uh, you can literally press the button and go home and come in in the morning to completed components. Uh, good solution. Thank you, Martin. Thank you.